Hey, Orbital. How you doing? Welcome back to more um, Minecraft. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's, it's your good. boys. We're it's, back. It's your boys. There is a, a TikTok that I saw, dude, and it's... I've unfortunately been been indulging in TikTok recently, and it's it's Oof. so horrible. <laughs> Honestly, like it is, just... it is just possibly the worst thing you can do with your life, because uh, they they start to know you like way too well. It's spooky. Yeah, like I was watching the other day, and then your mom popped up. <laughs> it's just sorry. <laughs> It's, it's, it's unnecessary. <laughs> that was that. You know it was, what? It was low for forty nine seconds in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, given that we're like workplace colleagues now, is that not? Uh, you know, is that not sexual like sexual harassment? Uh, yeah, exactly. Like a disciplinary or a grievance or something like that. Mm, no, I don't really think so. Honestly, I think it's just kind of, just kind of what yeah. exists. Just boys being boys, you know? Oh, is it? Okay. Uh -huh. Locker room talk. Is that oh, what yeah. they, they call it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, this one's going downhill extremely early. Okay. You you drove it. I drove it right off the cliff. Yep. Right off the cliff. How do you um, get leather? Do you shear a cow? Not how it works, no. But if you did that, that would produce leather, right? Sure. Do you know how you get human skin? You shear a human. You just skin the human. Doesn't mean that's how we get skin for transfusions and such. Nope. Yeah, that's how it happens. That is not how it happens. How does it happen? Pretty sure. Oh my god, it's a grizzly bear. What the heck? Mm -hmm. Can I take a grizzly bear? Can you take a grizzly bear? It's got 25 HP. Can I take it? What is? What do you? What is, definition is take it in this regard? Well, like. <laughs> I don't believe you could you could take a grizzly bear, whatever that means. Take it out for lunch? I, I Oh what? my god, it's standing up and it killed me! Well, I oh mean my. I'm gonna be real with you. What did you expect from this one? You asked me, can I take a grizzly bear? And then you got mauled by it. What what exactly was your plan here? You know what the funny thing is, is that I actually almost took it. <laughs> it's good do we want to add uh i feel like we should have remember in the wholesome boys build a brewery how we had that like to do board that we then proceeded to never pay attention to the entire time okay well let's, let's make an actual i'm board. making an actual to do board with stretch goals on it as well okay and one of the goals on the to-do board is going to be to capture and house a grizzly bear in our base. To be fair, before I took it, it was pretty chill. I still don't necessarily know what took it means in this regard, but... Oh, do you have, do you have swamp logs back at the... Uh... Swap logs? No, swamp. Swamp. What is a like swamp? Like willow logs. No. Why would I? Because they kind of look like dope AF, I think, is the phrase that the, the uh, kids are saying. The elites are using these days. Okay. Well, our to do board is currently tame a grizzly bear, and that's it. So if you have anything to add, no, there's... take a grizzly bear. Take a grizzly bear? Yeah. Okay. Be adding it, changing it to take a grizzly bear. I guess I got the lingo uh, guess wrong. Dude, do you know one thing we never talked about? What? We never talked about the phenomenon with Wordle. That one really kind of passed us by, didn't it? Yeah, I feel like we we weren't uh, we weren't doing anything together during during the Wordle phase. Were you big into the Wordle? Uh, I did it daily for probably I don't know two months. I still do yeah, I the did, occasional yeah. Wordle here and there. Like I, I don't, I don't think that I've, I've revolutionized my life around Wordle, but I, I've definitely, I've dabbled. Uh, I may have lost the pickaxe. <laughs> We're gonna need to like enable the gravestones mod mm -hmm. solely for your existence. I think that's too late now, isn't it? 
Well, I mean, not necessarily. Oh, no. I was just building the house, dude. Are you back at the start, too? No. I was back at the start. But I've got I've got beds now, so we oh, that's we Gucci. Very exciting. That's very exciting. Okay. I just need to I need to kill a few more cows. Can you can you do some you know cow killing on your way back? Some cow killing on my way back. Uh, just gonna be honest with you, nope. Not not gonna okay. kill a cow with my bare fists on the way back to my my death point. Uh, I have not even got a sword anymore. Well. Gonna have to get one of those, probably. If you're you're gonna have any any chance of success anytime soon. But how do you how do you get a dog? A wolf. I'm feeding a wolf pork chops. But... Nope. Uh, they they are gonna want bones. Yeah. Believe it or not, dogs and and pork chops not the. Not the well-known combo that everybody knows about. Are you telling me that if I gave a dog a pork chop, it would say, nah, I'm holding that for a bone? It, it, it does kind of blow my mind, honestly. Because I, I get that dogs will eat, like, any kind of meat, right? But in no way, shape, or form is your... Labrador Retriever gonna be just like killing a pig and slurping its blood up in real life. It's not gonna happen. What are you saying? I'm saying that our <laughs> I'm saying that dogs in this generation are too woke. They expect a uh, like premium kibble and <laughs> to be force-fed steak, but they're they're too lazy to kill the cow themselves. So what do you what do you what do you propose? I propose uh we dewokeify the dogs. De and the, de we force the dogs. We we force them to I lost our house, man. <laughs> where the hell where the hell do we live? Well the hell am I? I'm nowhere near the damn house. How'd I get here? Uh, de de wokeify the dogs and force them to kill their own cows. Uh, I, you know what you do? You know, actually, you raise a very valid point. Thank you. Uh, how did dogs survive? Dude, that's what I'm... Before this is, no, kibble do, was invented. Do you know which one I don't understand? Uh, the entire what? island of Papua New Guinea. Okay. Okay. How the hell did guinea pigs survive? They're... God, you're so right. You're so right. I mean, they're, they're just little weird blobs that poop everywhere and have no value. Discernible value at all. all. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, how, how in the world did these things survive long enough for humans to domesticate them? They're they're a they're a waste of a, a species. Have you ever seen the Monty Python's uh, Monty Python the Holy Grail? Yes. It's like the killer rabbit. Yes. That's what that's what guinea pigs used yep. to used, used to, to be, be like. Apparently. Yeah, but who, then who they got known? woke. <laughs> yep. I yep. I mean honestly, they turned our guinea pigs trans, and now here's where we are. We it's... have woke guinea pigs. Yep. This is uh... a satire, <laughs> by the way. I feel like we need to make that one clear. Uh, also, when I died, I lost uh, close to everything on me. Oh, well, just join, join the club. Yep. I mean, I lost a diamond pickaxe that had amazing stuff. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit of pain. I did have, like, uh, yeah. literally all of the wood required to build our house, and now it's gone, so... You want to... Hold on. Let's, let's, get, let's get things sorted. Um, you want a white bed or a yellow bed? Uh, yellow bed implies that I've pissed in it, so the yellow bed. Perfect. Thank you. I feel like we're sleeping be... right now right out on our front porch, which is a, a bit of a... Honest, <laughs> I love that they're both yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's perfect. There we go. There we go. We got some, we got some more. 
Our house is uh, it's looking like a Hollywood movie set right now. You're just, not wrong. Just the shell and nothing else. And I'm gonna be real. It's probably just gonna stay like this for a little bit. Cause uh, can we get storage drawers? Actually, did you add? Yeah, that? they're there. Go ahead, go ahead and get your drawers. Maybe my oh, stuff good. fell into here. Nope. Mm, I uh, don't think it did. Nope. <laughs> I'm I'm just hoping that the stacks and stacks of wood that I had would would still be here. But maybe an emu ate it, dude. Do emus eat wood? I hate to break it to you, but probably not. No. You ever uh, thought about what it would be like if? humans could suddenly eat and like gain nutritional value from stuff that we we couldn't eat before like uh dirt wood what what if humans could drink salt water dude that'd be a game changer i i mean yeah but also like what the hell are you on about because <laughs> we can't <laughs> Yeah, but like, what if we could? I can't believe they what, made our drinking water woke, dude. What if we could fly? I mean, yeah, that, that's a big one for sure. I was every time I was in the damn airport, dude. I I was like, this would be so much easier if I could just fly myself. Do you dream often about flying, dude? I had a dream two nights ago that I was flying. Believe it or not, I do not believe it. No. <laughs> You better believe it, because I dreamt it. I did. Ooh, whoops. Uh, I, I'm taking your iron out of your chest here, because I need to make a chisel. Okay, I'm I'm getting a uh, crafting station set up here. Nice. Which is actually going to like allow us to do sophisticated crafting as opposed to unsophisticated crafting nice i'm i'm kind of dude i don't really know what i'm building right now but i'm i'm just kind of kind of you're just going with the flow i'm, I'm yeah i'm kind of I'm, I'm flowing and we're seeing where it's going to take us this is very weird because this house is is going to be really just very square on the inside which i i haven't built a square house in this game in years wait can i can I build... Is that your house? Are we having a shared house? I, was, we I thought a... we were going to have a nice shared house. I mean, we are... The goal is that we're going to be gay lovers on this mountain. So I was hoping that we could at least share a bed at the end of the day. <laughs> are you building well, a, a small a... rudimentary house on that hill over there? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Just, just the it's way I like swamp it. <laughs> my swamp house. Did you get your, your swamp wood that looked dope AF? It looks really good, doesn't it? Nope, I can't see it. So, I think it looks, I think it looks cool. Dope AF. It's good. It's very everything good. swamp. Everything swamp. That's what, what makes it are happy. you doing in my swamp, dude? I uh, Anna had never seen Shrek before. For real? Yeah, for real. So the one day I uh, sat down for for movie night, and I went. Buckle up, we're, we're watching Shrek, and uh, it, it'd been probably, I don't know, like 10 plus years since I had watched Shrek, so I, I was expecting, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I was expecting it to be a meme, and the reality is, like, Shrek is a good movie, like an unironically good movie. I don't think people are ready to hear that. I also don't think people are ready to hear that. You should probably keep that opinion to yourself. Nah, dude. I, I think that Shrek is good. I think Shrek 2 is better. That's the craziest part. They, they somehow took the Shrek formula and improved upon it. And then they made Shrek, Shrek 3 it. and did not improve upon it. And then they made Shrek <laughs> 4 and definitely did not improve upon it. What about... What about uh, have you seen the Puss and Boots thing? <laughs> I would that? prefer you didn't call them Puss and Boots, but... Puss and Boots? I have Puss not and seen Puss and Boots, uh, but I have heard that it's very good. Me too. Which I, I think is wild, because they uh, took the formula and improved upon it. Once more. 
So it's it's a wild scenario. Do, is there are they creating like a Shrek cinematic universe? Like did Shrek show up in Puss in Boots? I don't know. I haven't seen it. No. Well, that kind of kills the kills the bit, huh? I was expecting you to give me the full rundown on on Puss in Boots. Why are you? Why do you find that funny? Because it's so British. Like it, it's just so British to pronounce British, Puss British, mate. as British, mate. Puss. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just, just being honest. You just can't speak properly. When you look at a cat, do you go, "Come here, you little pussy, <laughs> pussy cat"? <laughs> you're just, you're just, you're just wrong. <laughs> it might, might be true. It might be true. You want to know what else is uh, kind of funny? Hit me with the funniest thing you got. Uh, I'm going to have a functional uh, like garden house before you have finished with a real house. Oh, dude, there's like no shot this house is going to be done probably in the next like 15 episodes. Seriously, there's there's no shot. It's It's nowhere close to done. Well, I'm just about done. Well. It's actually I, quite tasteful. Know. Just like some side boob. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Not for us okay. though. We're, we're we're not into it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I how do I build uh You could have stopped there, I think. <laughs> how do I no oh, for God's sake? Okay, yeah, I just just fill it in. There we go. Yeah, dude, okay. I don't really know what I'm doing. This is the the house is getting it's it's in a weird weird state for sure. Also, our our floors panels change repeatedly. I don't know how else to word it, but as in as in the game is changing them, or yes. you're just not. Oh, oh no, the the game is is altering them as I build. Like right. I feel like okay. I feel like you need the oh that's very cute over there. I feel like you need to experience what the hell I'm talking about here. Um they're they're actively chain changing as I walk around. It's very interesting. It's it's going though. I mean this, this is going fine. All of a sudden I I'm very proud of this. Not not uh, very probably was not the correct word. I'm I have some pride. Well, you know what? That's better than nothing. Yep, it is. Uh, did you ever make a, a bucket, or is our garden going over there? This is going to be the garden, I think, somewhere. I, I don't know. I feel like this area is a lovely little area to start farming. Okay. Uh, because... As long as I've you're just, doing that, that's fine. I've just finished this little outhouse. Okay. Good. I mean, you know, kind of a big deal, to be honest. Your, your little outhouse kind of kind of big? It's bigger on the inside. It does look very small right now on the outside. So it's going to have to really improve on the inside to be big on the inside. It's. I think it's quite quirky. I think quirky is a great word. Is it a novelty, uh, novelty garden? It's a novelty garden. Novelty I should get garden. a pool. <laughs> you should. You should. I should get a pool. Okay. Uh, right. So do I want to start? Do I want to start growing something? Do we have yeah. seeds? Oh, we got seeds. We, 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 got, we got carrots. You can carrots, I, potatoes, regular seeds. All of those are are fair game. I legitimately don't think I've ever planted crops in Minecraft. Genuinely, right? That, that seems unrealistic to me. I've planted seeds before. The rest of them are just the same. <laughs> but how do you? So you just plant the carrot and the potatoes. You just plant them straight, yep, like they just go right in the right in the hole. Right in the hole. Okay. Very, very accurate. How do I get? I think I've made this not correct. How do I get uh, water? Is there water? Where's the nearest water? I think there's water. Yeah, out there. Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How much water do you need for an infinite water source? Like two uh, buckets. Just two. Yep. Two bucket. Yeah. See, I kind of know what I'm doing. And yeah, you're, you're you're improving, at okay. least somewhat. 
But do you not feel like we should be using the natural materials to make our house instead of just, you know, like wood? Not very what, ecologically what friendly. What natural isn't? materials are you talking about that are not terracotta? No, because it's it. You need you need something to to. It's color theory orbital. You you need it's the, color theory. You isn't? need the brown to bring out the the colors. The other shades of the brown. other shades of <laughs> around brown. us exactly. <laughs> the the house will have a little bit of terracotta flavor to it at times. Okay, where? Uh. You'll see. You got any uh, dirt by any chance? No. It's one thing that I do not have a lot of. I, I, I used like a lot of dirt to fill in the, the place. I so, mean, if I was to just, you know, vein, vein mine the ground, that's what I've been <laughs> doing uh, to the west of us. So, okay. All right. I'll go do, I'll go do that. Yep. I was going to, I was going to suggest under our very feet, but that no, maybe would No, I would really prefer you didn't <laughs> do that since I spent a lot of time vein mining dirt to fill the ground underneath our feet. I kind of so, figured as much. Yep. Would, would really end up being kind of sad if you did that. So. But then again... It would be funny, but I would prefer you didn't. <laughs> Plus, this is coarse dirt anyway, which I don't believe you can hoe. So... Is there a difference? Yes. Coarse dirt is coarse. Regular dirt is dirt. Oh well, thank goodness for that clarification. Yep. I was You're a bit worried that I extremely, <laughs> extremely welcome. I'm feeling, dude. I'm feeling overwhelmed by this. This bed, house. bed, 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 bed. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Little, little snuggle. I'm gonna go feet into your face on this one. Feet in my face. Yep. Just the way I like Just it. <laughs> <laughs> Learning a lot about you. First the anime, now the feet. Do you think there's things that our generation knows way too much about that? Not sure where this one's going. This is one of those sentences I started on, and I'm not sure. I'll, I'll finish the sentence, okay? Do you think that, like, George Washington was in defeat? That was, like, such a drastic turn. Drastic I feel deviation. like you should probably get like a ticket from some police officer for like, you know <laughs> that maneuver so yeah i mean yeah i think he was probably in defeat i i think that th like there are so many weird kinky things from history that have have showed up right like the i don't know if you've ever seen like the the old kings sex machines that they had mm, i can't say that i have okay and that's actually a fair point there there i've seen they're they're like you know history posts on on reddit or whatever and it's like look at this interesting sex chair that king louis the fourth had and it's just like weird restraints and and chains that that are tied to a throne and you look at it and you're like damn he clearly knew something that other people didn't and then i, I think about our generation where we got people posting feet feet pics on twitter I, <laughs> that was so hard to say feet pics on twitter i was about to say feet feet ticks on pitter which would not have worked as well feet fits on feeder but then that's yeah. what makes me wonder whether or not king louis was actually into uh in defeat. I keep on saying King Louis. Was, was that actually a king, or am I thinking of the orangutan yeah. from the Jungle Book? <laughs> king <laughs> King Louis, well, like, of France. There were, like, 16 or 17 King Louis. Okay. It's, it's like, the most prolific Louis in the, uh, in the whole world. I do think that the orangutan is a more prolific Louis than... No, he was a more prolific swinger. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, you enjoyed that one, didn't yep, you? that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed yeah, that yeah. one a lot, actually. Yeah. It was yeah. solid. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I have a big frame for our house. I thought you were going to say something different. <laughs> <but> that's... <laughs> and that's about it. I don't have anything else going for us in, in this one right now. I, uh... The interesting thing is that I do think, like, pretty regularly about how... Like, we just have so much intel 
there's just so much stuff that we know. Yes, I agree. And that's it's kind of bonkers. And it's it's bad, in my opinion. As in what? Like it's too much. It's stuff, too or? much information we have. I think the I think that in the end, I think that it, I now I also have a love for dystopian uh, novels and movies. I think that in the end, you are going to see. It may not be in our lifetime. I mean, it probably won't be in our lifetime. But like 300 years from now, the internet will not exist anymore. Really? The technology will be burned to the ground. Because it's going to take over every little part. It's already taken over every part of our lives. But it, it'll, it'll be like illegal to, to have access to the internet. Societies will live in, in separate little bubbles. There will be no like international trade. Like it, it'll it'll all go to hell. You actually think that the legit? That's what you think? I, I think there's a chance. This is a, it brings up a very interesting conversation about globalization and whether yep. we've actually reached the end of. I mean, you know, there's the there's the classic post uh, post Cold War, you know, end of. Uh, end of everything, Francis Fukuyama, whatever you know that whole nonsense. But you maybe you maybe might not be wrong. Yep, I think it's gonna start with TikTok too. Really? Yep. As soon as the U.S. bans TikTok, the internet's next. Too woke. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it does raise a question though, because like there there are a lot well, of talks in the U.S. about banning TikTok. You're absolutely screwed. You'd be out of a job. What if they ban TikTok? No, they ban the internet. Oh yeah, dude. Oh dude, it would be it would be pretty. <laughs> fact, you're out of both of your jobs. Yeah, I'd be out of both of my jobs. Yeah, it'd be pretty bad for me. But uh, I mean, I, I guess you you move from uh, internet security to physical security. I gain a couple hundred you pounds, lock down a door. Like I, I'm, this is my my future, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's quality. <laughs> I would pay to see you be be jacked. I'd pay to see you in a kilt, which is you will. <laughs> quite literally why I'm paying for it. <laughs> You're literally paying for it. <laughs> I would pay to see me jacked too, though. Do you think that uh, like Chat GPT could create an image of me jacked? Now that is a great question. That I think, dude, I think the, the chat GPT stuff is, it, it is to the point where it is terrifying for me personally as like a part of my job. Like, I know that there's a lot of other issues yeah. too, like, you know, deep fakes and especially the lit lately on Twitter with the, the streamer that was watching deep fake porn of his coworkers and friends, which is yeah, just a lot that, of question yeah. marks there uh big big what on that one um so that's like a big issue with ai but also so like get this one i i had to write a script the one day in my job and right. uh it was it was it was based comedy or drama uh, or uh, python believe it or not okay, okay. <laughs> but it, it wasn't a difficult thing by any stretch of the imagination but it still was right. like i had to i put probably 10 minutes into it to write it Right, I loaded up ChatGPT on my phone and I told it, "Hey, write a script that does what you want exactly to do. X," which yeah. was what I did. And I said, "Write it in Python and comment it so that I I can read it," kind of thing. Yeah, and yeah. it wrote close to word for word the script that I wrote. That's terrifying. It's isn't it? horrible. <laughs> Because I'm now in a position, dude, where it's like, boy, I could be out of a job if AI is uh, doing doing our computer security for us. It's it's a terrifying proposition. It's to be honest, like every single time I've interacted with AI, it's been super jank, super but bad. then yeah, super bad. But then the funny thing is, I don't know, I just, whatever it was a couple of a couple of weeks ago, it was like fooling around. Ah, oh, chat GPT, whatever. We'll give this give this thing a try, and it 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 quite literally blew my mind. Yep, uh, it's legitimately good. And I have never been in a situation before where I'm like, wow, this is like a I'm witnessing 
a mega change like yep. a like a step change in how we deal with yep you know computers and ai and that whole stuff it's like oh, yeah. the, the fact that it's taking like exams for becoming lawyers and stuff and passing the exams to and it's free and you can use it yep. like you can just go and you like you can use it yep I saw I, I, I saw today that they have now coded the AI. They coded like a second AI to detect whether something was written by the AI. Yeah. Yeah. But it but the thing is though, is that it's easy to fool that AI if you like revise it a couple of times. Yeah, probably. So if you because that's the thing, is that you can can and that's this is the crazy thing. It's like it's not it's not one single prompt. It's like not one input output. It's it's a whole. It's like maintaining a conversation with a computer consistently. Yep. And you can go back and forth, back and forth. You know, chatting about X, chatting about Y. Yep. It it is it, bonkers. Yeah. No, it's it's, and it's especially scary. So like from a from a security perspective, it, it's already being like talked about and discussed for so people if, if are, are like a, writing malware with yeah, it if, exactly already. like if i'm a if i'm a bad actor yep can i just could i say i want to i want to do an exploit that will yep. you know leverage xyz vulnerability in xyz yep. company you know write an email trying to spoof an employee of xyz company bearing x y and z in mind yep and it's so it, originally it was doing it they they have since wrote like anti yeah. malware into it which is i mean just the idea of that alone is still very strange to me that you have to write tell is, your ai to not do malicious things it's like the beginning of a movie where robots take over the, the world but the genie's <laughs> out of the bottle right like it's possible to do yes yeah and that means that now that we've, you know, now it's it's like a tech in Civ, right? Like once you've unlocked it, it's like you can't, you like, can't un unlock, unlock yep. tanks, you yep. know. Well, but that's when I think that uh, when the inevitable dude, I gotta I gotta learn how to eat at some point. Um, when the inevitable uh, nuclear warfare occurs, and all of the technology in the world is obliterated. Uh huh. That's that's your your start over. That's when you're no what, longer gonna have AI. I tell you what, you're gonna be glad that you're hench. You know, at that point. Sure. You're gonna. I mean, you'll have lost your job in the great, you know, the great AI shakeup. You know, yep. twenty years that's, earlier, that's... and you'll have a long and illustrious career in you know physical security. <laughs> so you're gonna be you're gonna be going into the AI war buff AF, my dude. It's true. Yeah. Can you, can you imagine, though, I saw a clip the other day, too, of, like, a dude fighting a robot, and the robot was, like, reading his, his attacks and was able to defend against the guy fighting him and stuff. Uh, can you imagine eventually having, like, I, I'm not saying, like, Elon Musk will be that guy, because I, I don't think he will, but some super tech billionaire like tony stark kind of guy who builds these robots that end up being killing machines and the the world has to have like a geneva convention robot war and it's called like the great robot war of 2093 or something like that so i don't want to sound like i'm you know a weeb or anything but this is literally what ghost in the shell is all about <laughs> I'm not even joking. Jesus Christ. It's all about it. it really is. And that's why it's so good. It's <laughs> it's all part of the conversation. The it's like the Matrix, thing, but on steroids. It really thing is. I've ever heard in my life. I'm uh I'm making a uh You wanna take a nap? I kinda do actually, yeah. Oh. Where'd your feet go? Unfortunately, uh, nowhere near you. And unfortunately, oh, wow. Orbital, uh, we gotta end the episode. So sad. Thank God. <laughs> if you enjoyed, as always, like the. Are you fighting the. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, dude, it's gonna kill it's me. It's gonna kill you. Can you kill it? Can you kill I'm it? I'm not me? killing it. Absolutely not. The Great Robot War? How about the Great Kangaroo War? Oh, dude, he, he kind of janky, to be honest.
I think he's chill now. Dude, he is not chill. He is okay, actually coming for you. Big. He's oh into the God, hole, he's going, dude. He's going in. <laughs> he's still coming. I'm I'm the cameraman in the uh, TMZ fights. That's that's coming. Oh frick! That's, he's not. He's not gonna no, get down here. No, he's not. I'm safe. He is. I'm gonna tell you. He is trying to pathfind to you right now. Well, I'm gonna come back stronger and better than ever, and I'm gonna slaughter this little. I have a better Jack idea. in the box. I have a better idea. Gun. He he's really trying to get to you right now. You you got to go back down. You got to go back down the hole. Go back down the hole. Go back down the hole. Why? He, he's, he's coming for you. I'll okay. take it. Oh, he's trying to get the hell out of here. Actually, this is this is quite the love story. Like, ah! Oh, he gave me leather. No, he didn't give me leather. He gave me kangaroo hide. <laughs> and kangaroo meat. No. Well, slap it on the Barbie, mate. What an with experience with that was. Why do we need to parkour out of this stupid mine? Ah, uh, because I didn't build a proper staircase. We'll, uh, we'll have a proper entrance in the future. It, look, it's the early days of Minecraft. You can't get too, too bent out of shape over it. But I will. But you will. Anyway, uh, if you guys enjoyed, as always, like on the video, much appreciated. We will see you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.